Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to finally another reformation try on. It's been a few months but I had to get one in because the pieces that they're bringing out are just exceptional and before summer ends I need to get these pieces in. So let's get straight into this week's video. Those of you that are not subscribed please remember to do so and let's do this. I'm going to start off with one of my favourite pieces. I actually have this already in white and then I saw that they did this wonderful print that I once tried on, I think it was the Frankie dress, which is stunning. It's obviously a very long dress, it's silk. Um, so I was thrilled to see this in a linen that was a bit more everyday. The dress is called the Keenan Linen Dress and the color is Aliso. And I have this in a size four. My white one is a size two and it's a lot more fitted. This one's a size four, it still fits you very well, but it's just got a bit more space. So just depending on how you like the fit, this one I would say is slightly more comfortable on me, but I prefer the look of the size two, so it's all dependent on what you want. But this is this beautiful pastel blue linen with the most wonderful white floral print, and it's a square neck, thin straps that are adjustable. You have the ruching at the back as always, so super breathable, even in the two. There's no restriction on the breathing, very, very comfortable. And what I love about this dress is the frill at the bottom. It's a very slight one, it just adds that feminine touch, which I really, really love. I'm seriously considering keeping this one because I love it. I get so much use out of my white one. It's so comfortable. Linen in the summer, you can't go wrong, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. The next one, I can't put on a hanger because it just won't stay, but I absolutely love this dress. It reminds me of Barbie, Gardening Barbie, if you know what I mean. It's got that typical checkered print, uh, but just in green, which I really, really love because I'm not much of a pink girl. The dress is called the Isa Linen Dress in Avocado Check, and I have it in a size four. Again, I think I could have sized down in this one. I remember on my last haul, I went for twos, and I felt like some pieces were too small, and now I've tried fours, and a few bits seem a little bit bigger. So this is one of those pieces that if you want a more comfortable look, size up from your normal size, and if you want a more fitted look, stick to your size. This dress is a mini dress, and it has a little slit on the thigh, which I absolutely love. I'm looking for skirts like this. I'd love a white one, like high-waisted. Reformation used to do them, and I really think they should bring them back. I think it was called the Baker dress, but the Baker skirt. I think it was the Baker skirt. It was the Baker skirt. But anyway, it's that same style but in a mini dress which I love. It has a gorgeous square neck that then goes in to a halter neck which I think is so flattering. Personally for me, having a bigger bust, they're slightly heavier. You can really control the support, so obviously tighter if you like that more pushed up look or a bit looser. No bra and it just looks fabulous. Simple tie up around the neck, elasticated ruching as always. You can see how much give that gives. So, so comfortable. And then a zip to get into. But I'll just show you close up the print, which I, I absolutely love. But let me know what you guys think. The next piece is actually the top I have on. I am in love, you guys. Oh my goodness, just look at this. It's absolutely stunning. So you've got this off the shoulder into a v-neck. I haven't got a bra on. These, I will say, are not elasticated. So you do have a little bit of restriction, but it could be just the size of my chest. If you are smaller busted, you probably will just be a little bit more comfortable, but I'm not uncomfortable whatsoever. I just like to mention the details. Then you have these material covered buttons going down and then into this peplum frill at the waist. There's a little gap here. I just think all the details on this top are absolutely stunning. You have the ruching at the back as well, so you have that comfort. So you do have space, and then the print you can see is this wonderful hydrangea floral with greens and blues and a little bit of ivory. I just, I just love this print. I think it's absolutely stunning. It does come in white also, so you do have that block color but I really love the floral. It's called the Lily Linen Top, and this color is called Romantic, and then obviously you have the white. Since I have it up on my phone, I will show you what the white looks like. They're both absolutely stunning. Linen again, 
healing material, no plastics. And I got this in a size six. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I would say size up in this one then. I did right then because of my bust. Obviously, if you have a smaller bust, stick to your size. If you have a bigger bust, just size up one because you do not lose at all on the waist because of the peplum sort of frill, you're getting that shape. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I picked up a black dress because I just feel in the summer, a classic simple black dress needs to be in every girl's wardrobe and we know this, we know this. I have one that I love, I absolutely love. And you know when it comes to the time of the month as well, it needs to be comfortable, it needs to be slightly longer and chic. And I saw this one in Reformation and I absolutely love like love this i really really want to keep it so was like you should keep it it's called the baina b-a-i-n-a -A dress baina dress in black and i have it in a size two which would be my true to size so this fits me like a glove it has a very simple neckline just a simple semi square it's a tiny bit scoop but you can see if i turn it to the side it has the space for your bust it's not just flat, so it's not pushing your bust. Your bust sort of just sits there very, very comfortably. Spaghetti straps that are adjustable. The stretchy ruching at the back, as always. And then from the waist, it goes into a full maxi dress. The material in this skirt is so good. It's, you just, just feel quality. It, it's incredible. You have pockets. Yes, pockets. It's a winner. And then you have one tier... At the bottom of the dress, you'll see it better on me, one tier, just to give it that little something, and I love a little something on a dress. I feel this would be really flattering for any type of woman, that's why I picked it. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I keep saying that, but it really, really is, but guys, let me know what you think. So I've added a little bit of pink into the try-on, you guys will know that I'm not a huge fan of pink. I did, though, want this dress in its original colour, which was ivory with yellow floral and it sold out it's absolutely beautiful but i thought i'd pick up the pink and try it and i actually think it's really really beautiful so it's in this reformation pink and i say reformation because they always do this sort of like dusty pink like blushy which is really nice it's not too bright and then you have a white and sort of darker floral pattern on it the dress has a lot of detail so you can see on the straps you have these thick straps that sort of ruch in as they meet the main part of the dress. The bust is sweetheart, and then you have that space for the bust. Again, I don't know if you can see, it's hard to show you, but it has space for the bust, basically. It's not just flat, so your bust can sit really well. It then cinches you in at the waist, and then you have a girly little mini skirt, which is very, very cute. And because it's not tight, you get away with the shortness, I think. But it's a very girly dress, which I really like, so I don't have many girly things in my wardrobe. Again, you have the ruching stretchy ruching at the back and also let me show you the straps have this adjustable button can you see so you can make it smaller or longer depending on your shoulders like my shoulders are quite small so i always have to make my straps slightly smaller the dress is called the taiga tiger t-a-i-g-a -A dress and the color is called baby's breath I don't really like this. I don't really like that name, but it's called Baby's Breath, and I have it in a size two, which is my true size at Reformation, and it fits me perfectly. This next dress is everything I love and more. Um, let's start with the colour. It's this beautiful sage green, but very very light, and I think it's a very versatile dress. So it's a midi dress, 100% linen. I have a lot of linen in this haul, but it's a material that I lean to a lot because it's the material that has the highest frequency and is actually healing so this is why i lean to linen a lot especially in the summer when you're hot your pores are open and obviously your skin is on the fabrics i feel like you could wear this on some holidays at dinners but i also think this is a great occasion wear dress if you add some accessories for like weddings in the summer and things like that it's ideal the dress is called the solana linen dress and the colour is dried herbs. I even love the name of the colour. And I have it in my true size, which is size two. And it fits like a glove. So again, you have a hold, like my last dress, you have a halter neck neckline, which I always lean to because it's very flattering for me. I think girls with a 
larger bust, it just works for us. Um, so you have that tie up, which again, you control the support. If you want them right up, you can do. If you just want them sitting comfortably, you can do. And then the fabric around the bust, you can see, can you see, there's like layering. So it gives a little bit of intrigue to the top part and it's not just plain, which I really liked. Then it comes in at the waist and of course you have your stretchy ruching at the back, super comfortable. And then at the waist you can see you have gathering on the side and then it kind of splits open and shows a bit of leg. Not too much, very sophisticated, it's very structured, it's just very me. <laughs> but what do you guys think? The next piece is a skirt, but it's going to be very hard to show you, so of course you'll see it better on me. But I love a wrap skirt, like absolutely love them. They are my go-to when I'm on holiday or in the sun. They're just so, so comfortable and flattering. And I saw this one on Reformation and I actually really loved it. I've been looking for skirts on Reformation because they never usually have a print that I really want. But I saw this print and I actually think it's really beautiful. So it's like this tropical forest with parrots, uh, blue and yellow, and then on the green, a few butterflies, and the ivory background. I love the print. And then, like I said, you have that wrap detailing, so you tie it on the side. It's full length at the back, and then obviously you have a bit of leg showing at the front, with as you do with all your wrap skirts. The skirt is called the Talio Maxi Skirt. The colour is Tropics and I have it in my true size, which is a size 2, fits me perfectly. I do want to show you a detail that I really like and needs to be on more skirts and it is, where's it gone? Where you have the button before the tie, there's actually two buttons. So there's one there and one there and then you have the hoop to sort of loop it round. So if you need it a little bit tighter, you just loop it on that one, you take it off that one and loop it on that one and it cinches you in even more. So that way, if you're having days where you feel a little bit bloated or you're on, you can expand the skirt essentially and feel a little bit more comfortable. Days you want to cinch it in, you can. Also the way it's done, you could easily move buttons up and down as well if you need it a little bit more tighter. But yeah, I love, love this skirt. In fact, Stefania likes it as well, which is interesting because this isn't usually a print she's into. So I better nab it before she tries to. The last piece is a bit of an autumnal piece, but since the weather in the UK isn't that good, and also we're transitioning our wardrobe in the next few weeks from summer to autumn, I thought this was the perfect piece. And I can't believe how incredible it looks on you guys will see on me. The dress is called the Danica dress. The color is breezy. I think it comes in another color, and I have it in a size small. It fits me perfectly. You can see it's black and then it has these tiny ivory florals for the print and I just think from a distance it looks really interesting, the print. You can't quite see what it is until you get close. So I really liked that detail. Then you have a collar here with a deep v-neck which is slightly loose, it's very very flattering and then you have short sleeves that are loose as well, it's all very loose and comfortable. The waistline nips you in, it's elasticated as well. And then you have it go into a maxi dress. And there isn't too much volume in the skirt part of the dress. It's very shaped, but not too tight. And I think it's incredibly flattering, like inc incredibly flattering. I didn't think I would like this as much as I do, but I really, really like it. So I may be keeping this one, but I'm going to re-remind myself of the other prints they have and just see if anything else comes in because I'm trying to stay away from wearing too much black because I tend to wear a lot of black, but I think it's beautiful. And we've come to the end of the try-on. I can't believe it. That went by so quickly. I really, really enjoyed that one. I hope you guys did too. This is the last of my reformation summer try-on. As of course, we're now transitioning into autumn and they have some spectacular autumn pieces coming in. I've got about six pieces on pre-order and oh my goodness, exquisite. Like I can't wait. Um, but between now and then, I know reformation will be going into sale. So of course, whatever I get in the sale, I'm gonna share with you guys and just keep your eyes peeled, guys, because I remember last year, it was in the like last two weeks of August, 
So there's a little tip for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Those of you that are not subscribed, please remember to do so. It helps so much with the growth of my channel and helps me bring you more content like this. I'm over on Instagram as well. It's at Honestly Alessandra, where you can see me there daily and lots of outfits and these outfits styled up. Um, come say hello and I'm gonna see you guys in next week's video.